Prosecutors say the woman accused of shooting her six-month-old granddaughter smiled as she opened fire. Tonight, that woman's in jail. <laughs> While she opened fire. <laughs> <laughs> Let me run that back, man, because I know some of y'all probably can't believe what you just heard, man. Jesus Christ, man. Thank you, Brandon. Butler County prosecutors say the woman accused of shooting her six-month-old granddaughter smiled as she opened fire. Tonight, that woman's in jail. WCPO 9 News reporter Jessica Hart has new information from the sheriff and first responders that day. The woman in the green jumpsuit is 43-year-old Mia Harris at her preliminary hearing Wednesday. She's charged with three counts of felonious assault, and the sheriff tells me more charges are coming. It's one of the worst cases that I've seen in quite some time. Prosecutors say she intentionally shot her six-month-old granddaughter in the head on December 9th. The baby. Give her the death penalty, man. We ain't even talking. Why are we talking for? Why are we talking? Why? Yo, like, this is, what? She did what? The fuck did she do? Shot a six month in the head baby on in the December head. 9th. The baby is in very, 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 critical condition. Butler County Sheriff Richard Jones says the baby has had at least two surgeries, one to remove the bullet and another to treat the swelling. Versus Mia Harris. At Harris's hearing, Detective Daniel Turner says before she shot the baby, Harris shot her own mother. The bullet grazed in the head. Harris then turned her attention to the baby. We're not naming the family members because they're victims. Mia picking up from the bed and handing it, handing the baby and smiled. Detective Turner says she handed the little girl over and left the house. I asked her why her grandbaby, she said that was not my grandbaby. Uh, and at one point she said, sorry, not sorry. And the baby is laying in the hospital uh, fighting for her life, five and a half months old, fighting for her life because her family member shot her in the face. In the, in, on purpose. Sheriff Jones says they're looking at additional charges against Harris. The case now goes to a grand jury and Harris goes back to jail. What I seen is evil. And evil was living in that house that night. In Ham I don't want to hear about mental health either, man. Please. I do not want to hear about <laughs> no mental health. <laughs> no, this shit, I do not. I, she looks like she's fucked up looking and all that crazy shit, but People like this, they know what they're doing, man. Fuck all that shit, man. Fuck that shit. Yo. Yo. This one right here. Yo, this one got me fucked up. Well, sorry, not sorry. And the baby is laying in the hospital uh, fighting for her life. Five and a half months old fighting for her life because her family member shot her in the face in the, in, on purpose. Sheriff Jones says they're looking at additional charges against Harris. The case now goes to a grand jury and Harris goes back to jail. What I seen is evil. And evil was living in that house that night. In Hamilton, Jessica Hart, WCPO 9 News. Night off, Kay Johnson was killed back in January during an attempted carjacking outside her South St. Louis home. Our Robert Townsend talked with her father just hours ago, and Robert joins us live outside the juvenile detention facility where the teen suspect is being held. Robert. Mike, on Monday, Mark Johnson said he learned the young suspect was charged with killing his daughter. That's some relief for this devastated dad. Not a day goes by that Mark Johnson doesn't think about his daughter, Kay Johnson. Johnson's dad lives in Tennessee. Just her. Her personality, her, she was easy to talk with. She just, she cared about us. On the night of January 24th, Kay was pulling her Honda Civic into her garage behind her home on Compton Avenue in South St. Louis. Court documents reveal 15 years. This little fucking goddamn N-word snuffed out this precious white queen's life man 
And yeah, man. Fuck it, man. Yeah, man. Could you imagine if a little white boy killed some black woman who was pulling her fucking car into her fucking driveway in her fucking house? You kidding me? Yeah, that little fucking N-word killed this white queen, man. It's a tragedy, man. She didn't cross paths with him. She wasn't in the wrong place at the wrong time. She wasn't trying to be down with the brown. She wasn't, you know, engaged in risky behavior like going to Negro clubs or going to Negro functions. She was pulling into her fucking garage in this fucking proto-human fucking killed her over a car. Look at He's a proto-human. Look at that face. Look at those eyes. He looks like That's he a, doesn't get one single damn about it, too. He doesn't. Little smirk on him. That's a proto-human. Wow. Look at her family, man. They raised her. Mama half tiger. But they raised her right, man. You could tell they raised her right. You can tell she had love. You know, you could tell she come from a good family. And she was going to her own house, minding her business. In this goddamn hominid. The fucking hominid. This hominid came out of the recesses of fucking <laughs> history. Man. Oh, shit. <laughs> hominid. What the? What? Yeah, yeah. This hominid <laughs> jumped jumped out of the recesses of the dark past and shit of human civilization and snuffed her life out. One of the original takes, humans. Exactly, man. Easy to talk with. She just, she cared about us. On the night of January 24th, Kay was pulling her Honda Civic into her garage behind her home on Compton Avenue in South St. Louis. Court documents reveal 15-year-old Deshaun Harris and two others suddenly pulled up in a stolen car, parked behind Johnson's vehicle, and jumped out with guns. Prosecutors say the suspects ordered Johnson to get out, but when she refused, they say Harris fired a shot into her car, hitting Kay in her face, killing her. We just received the call in the evening from her. Wow. A heartbreaking call. Now, I do have to be a little bit. I got to be like this, man. I'm sorry. If they tell you to get out of the car, man, get the fuck out of the car. Press one. If they tell you to get out of the fucking car, get out of the fucking car. Take that shit. That's what you got insurance for, man. Fuck that. Take that bitch. She st- I still shouldn't have killed her. I'm still not right. And I don't know what she was thinking. Maybe she was, maybe she thought they were going to rape her or take her in the house and rape her. I don't know what she thought was thinking. Yeah, she get the fuck out the car. Get out the fucking car. If you got your baby in the car, just say, hey, I need to get my baby. And you guys can be on your way. This is a, this is, this is a goddamn, yo, this is not even a human. This is like a fucking ancient man um <laughs> goddamn some kind of man that that like they they still haven't figured out the, the bone they looking for the bone they found some bone somewhere they like yo what the fuck is this 
This ain't no fucking homo sapien. This is some other shit, man. I think the sun man is like aliens or some shit. Cause like the yeah. only ones that haven't like adapted to anything else in civilization and shit. Everybody else adapting and doing things and making things. We're the only ones that like, I don't know. I think we're like aliens that lost our way or some shit. Yeah, I think so too. I I think we're we're a glitch in the matrix. Like we're nothing like any of the other groups. All the other groups got straight hair to some degree, even though their hair is different. All of them. I just can create civilizations. We got this fucking frizzy shit that grow just like our <laughs> thoughts. It <This> shit grow. <laughs> our hair grow. Our hair grow, our hair grow <laughs> like our thoughts, man. What the fuck? I <laughs> our hair grow like our thoughts, man. This is wild observation. <laughs> Seriously, man. Our hair grows like our thoughts, man. <laughs> Oh, if you understand the sun man mind, just look at his fucking hair. Look at the way it grows. <laughs> and shit. No pattern to it. <laughs> what the fuck? You gotta you gotta burn that shit with a hot iron to make it break. <laughs> or poison that shit with some perm or some shit. Yeah, some kind of fucking goddamn fucking lie or some shit. Make it straight. That shit just grow. Each head just. <laughs> That's a that wild observation. Think. That's how we think, though. Gladys <laughs> think it's normal. On burritos, it's normal. Ways is normal. <laughs> Niggas. <laughs> Everywhere, man. Tell you, you man. Might, you might have just discovered some shit. Oh shit, dude! It's something, yo. Uh, and 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 our hair is square too. Our hair is square. Yeah. Everybody else's hair is round, like the follicles are round. Our hairs are squares. That when you put it under a microscope, yeah, yeah, that's how it works. Everybody else's hair is a circle. documents reveal 15 year old Deshaun Harris and two others suddenly pulled up in a stolen car parked behind Johnson's vehicle and jumped out with guns. Prosecutors say the suspects ordered Johnson to get out but when she refused they say Harris fired a shot into her car hitting Kay in her face killing her. We just received the call in the evening from her ex-husband. A heartbreaking call they received 11 months ago still grips the hearts of Kay's parents, two siblings, and entire family. It really hit your heart. We just remember what a good daughter she was. The 38-year-old mom was killed in front of her daughter, who was sitting in the front seat. Wow. That's why she didn't get out. She was like, no, nah, you can't. She probably didn't know that them sun turds don't want your daughter. They just want your car. You can, you know what I mean? Them sun turds do not want your kid. They just want they want the daughter. I mean, they want the they want the car. You can have your daughter. She probably was like, no, my daughter, I'm with my daughter, no way. He shot her in the face right in front of her daughter. Now that little white girl gotta grow up and be extra woke. To make up for the fact that she know she gotta be like Max Kellerman and shit. Press one. Oh yeah, definitely. She gotta, she gotta be extra woke and shit because a sudden turd killed her fucking mother in cold blood. What a good daughter she was. The 38 year old mom was killed in front of her daughter, who was sitting in the front seat. She just turned 15. Her daughter was our only grandchild. She's a. Uh... Seen a therapist. Wow. Harris is charged as an adult with second degree murder and armed criminal action. Because in second degree, I think first degree is more appropriate. It was. Um, Does it make it on CNN? You know, if. Nah, no coverage from CNN, man. No comment from LeBron James either. It's more appropriate. It was um, premeditated, you know, if. He had the intent to kill. Now, Johnson wants justice for his daughter. Life in prison, at the very least. Look at that fucking... God damn. 
that yo, if he if his IQ is seventy five, man, like I'm telling you, if if he got an IQ of seventy five, shit, man, slap me around and call me <laughs> Susie, man. I ain't even gonna lie, man. That man, it ain't enough room in that little skull for fucking. <laughs> A little teeny little skull, man, and the big ass, beady ass eyes and shit, man. <laughs> he's, he, he stole away my daughter's life. Now, prosecutors tell us phone records also tied Harris to Johnson's murder and other carjackings. Tonight, the teenager is being held without bond. Live near me, 